Hey guys, today's video is a what's in my tote bag med school edition. I had been wanting to get a really nice tote bag for the last couple of years. I wanted it to be classy, professional, a good size that could hold a good amount of stuff, but also sturdy. I didn't want something that I would have to buy an insert for to organize it. I didn't want something that had no structure. And so I had my eye on this tote bag by Freya NYC. It's the Paloma tote bag. And it's in the color pecan. And I had my eye on it for the last, I wanna say two years. I'd been wanting it for so long, but I couldn't really justify the purchase until I got to med school when I know I'd be utilizing it a lot more. And so, yeah, that's, that's the bag that we're gonna be working with today. I tend to alternate between this bag and my backpack, but I figured it would be more interesting to show you guys what's in my tote bag. I really, really love the color. I think it's so classy. It's super sturdy and it holds so much stuff. It's also really comfortable on my shoulder. That's another thing that I was really, really adamant on is that my tote bag wouldn't be hard to carry, wouldn't be annoying to carry if it was filled to the brim with stuff. And this bag is not. I was also wanting something with a lot of built-in organization because I know there are a lot of tote bags out there that people love that have organizational inserts that you can put into it. I did not want that. I wanted a bag that came with organization, pockets, all that kind of stuff. And this bag definitely did. I'll insert a clip of what the bag looks like on the inside, but it's basically broken up into three compartments. I and I, I'm just obsessed with it. It's it's you know when you find a product that fits exactly what you have been wanting and what you've been needing, that is this bag. That is the Paloma Tote. I did buy the Paloma Tote with like my own money and because I had wanted it for such a long time, I reached out and asked if I'd be willing to make a what's in my bag video and I said 100% I would absolutely love to. So that's that's what we have going on today. I'm so, so excited to show you guys. Um, I have just my basics in here, I would say, but I could fit so much more if I needed to, which is what I love about this bag. So let's get started. Uh, I just love the color and everything about the bag. It's so classy and versatile in my humble opinion. So I'm gonna start off with the main component, which has so many different pockets and it's pretty like big and spacey. I'm gonna start off with my water bottle. This is the water bottle that I take with me whenever I go out because it doesn't spill at all. It's my Alwala. I love it so much because it's just easy to take around with you and keeps my water so cold. A little notebook that sometimes I'll use to do practice problems on or take quick notes that I don't really want to pull my iPad out for. And then I have my iPad which I take everywhere with me, and my computer, which I take everywhere with me. I have an iPad case that is like a keyboard, and I bought it with the purpose of not having to carry my laptop around as much, but I don't know, you just can't replace the convenience of having your whole laptop with you, and that's what I've realized. But occasionally, instead of my normal iPad case, I'll have the iPad keyboard case, which is nice for if I'm taking notes on Good notes. Into the smaller pockets, I have some sticky notes and I have a pen and a highlighter. Then I have my trusty Anki remote, which is actually dying. Do you see it? Blinking red. I need to charge that. I'm a lip product girly, so I'm gonna always have lip products on me. I switch it out based on what makeup I'm wearing that day. If I'm not wearing makeup, it'll usually just be some type of like gloss or balm. But I have two lip products that are pretty similar, but they're my favorite. It's the E. Sailor One Candy Glaze. Oh, I'm actually wearing it right now. I can't see if you, I can't tell if you can see. And then the Pillow Talk Lip Shimmer by Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Medium, I believe. I also have my favorite perfume oil. It's the Old Deli Oud by Soma Ayurvedic. It is incredible and it's a bit pricey, but I have entered my era of being willing to splurge on things that I really enjoy or appreciate or use because 
it's I w I'd much rather spend my money on things that I'll actually get a lot of use out of rather than things that are cheaper but not as high quality. And that's a privilege, but I love the perfume bottles. I'll definitely be rebuying them after I finish them. So that's what's in my main compartment. I could fit so much more in there if I wanted to. Moving on to one of the side compartments. I usually have some type of book with me. Right now, I have Atomic Habits by James Clear. Granted, I very rarely ever actually read these books, but I love to put it in my little bag and act like I have the time or the energy. But 90% of the time, I'm scrolling on TikTok, which I'm trying to change. I think one of the videos I'm going to be making sometime soon is going to be a dopamine detox because my brain has been so all over the place that I need I definitely need to fix that. Next to that compartment I have my glasses case. I'm wearing contacts right now but normally I'll be wearing glasses so I'll carry this around with me just so that if my glasses get dirty or something I can clean them. Then in the third side pocket I have my trusty Sony headphones. Noise canceling headphones, in my opinion, are a must. And if you have the capacity to get a pair, highly, highly, highly recommend. I got the Sony ones um, in like this grayish color. I love them, they work so well. And everyone else that I know that has them loves them as well. It's just so convenient to be able to pop your headphones in and ignore the rest of the world. And I barely use my AirPods anymore because they just, I can hear everything and it's super irritating when I'm trying to focus. So noise canceling headphones, definitely a must. So have my wallet, which is just in this pouch that I've had for years now. I got it at Urban one day in undergrad and I, I have never found anything that has truly served me the way that this little, little purse has. So my little wallet. I usually have some type of camera on me because in true fashion, I, as a, in true like photographer fashion, I just want to document things. I barely ever pull it out when I have these cameras with me because I get nervous or, or, or like overwhelmed or overstimulated. But who would I be if I didn't at least give myself the option? Exactly, I don't know. So that's that. I believe that that's it for what I usually keep on my bag on a day-to-day -day basis. So I love this tote bag. I have no regrets making the purchase. It was definitely on the pricier end, but Freya NYC is a sustainable brand and it is vegan leather. It's not real, but it is such, such high quality. I know it's going to last me for years to come. And I'm so, so happy that I have this bag. I think I know it's a good purchase when I get it and I, and I feel excited, you know what I mean? When I don't feel like, oh, am I gonna regret, am I gonna regret this one purchase? I 100% don't regret it. So that's my little bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you're interested in getting your own Palomato or any of the bags from Freya NYC, I will link a discount code in the description. But yeah, I'm so glad I was, I'm, I'm trying to get more into filming YouTube videos, and so yeah. Okay, bye guys.